Look, man, I was a kid. <laughs> it was a space shuttle for me, that TV. <laughs> and 20 years ago, my school bought a computer which had more buttons, and most importantly, the screen in front of my eyes. It had white letters, a blinking cursor. We wrote a program with Pascal programming language, and we were able to turn on and off a DC motor. <laughs> yeah. It was a magic moment for me. I decided I want to work with computer. I want to have it, and I want to have it a lot. Here's my classroom with 40 computers. I have two tables in my working space with two computers on each. I have computer in my pocket, in my kitchen, in my car. Actually, now I'm planning to buy a computer for my cat. <laughs> computers are everywhere in my life, and they are helping me in my daily activities, obviously in automation and artificial intelligence. Today, I want to talk about industrial automation and explain why we should not be afraid of it. The automation itself is not so modern thing. There exist tellings that prove that autom automation is much older than Jesus Christ. Let me tell you a story about Hephaestus. Hephaestus was Greek's god of craftsmen. I have deep feeling that he was Lithuanian <laughs> because he was a god of craftsmen, blacksmith, artisan, metallurgy, fire, pretty all these things that we Lithuanians are doing during vacation. Hephaestus was very good. That, that so good that Mount, the gods from Mount Olympus asked him to manufacture the weapons. The order was huge, therefore uh, Hephaestus was forced to craft so-called automatons. They helped him. They were robots, autonomous machines made from shiny metal. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nobody knows where that workshop ever existed, but it's proof in Homer's work, Iliad, shows that automation is not so modern, modern thing. Even gods were using the automation or ben benefits of automation. Industrial automation uses machines in general to produce any kind of product with speed, consistency, and precision beyond the human capability. It transforms any type of energy to things we need. For me, personal, increased productivity, safer working environment, and the ability to give us extra time is the biggest benefit of automation. I want to start with an example which, which comes, comes from the United States. Before the introduction of machinery in farming, more than half of population were working in the farming. The mindset of those generations was about how to sow the land. Why is not raining? Today, they have less than 2% working in the agriculture, and they still can feed all nations. When machinery increased the productivity, it had a huge impact to the society. It allowed people to move into cities. It provided new labor for industrial revolution, medical care, construction. Finally, people get a chance to become whatever they want. In the 19th century, century, suddenly, the machines and automation replaced the handcrafting in textile and paper industry. And certain uncertainty among the workers appeared. But machine, machines created a remarkable thing. They started, people started to innovate the clothes, shoes, furniture, Instead of working in nosy, dusty, and healthy environments, here's another example how automation can work along the people. 
since the introduction of ATM machines in the banks, number of bank employees in the banks nearly doubled. When ATM machines freed up people from routine cash handling job, they become more as sales managers. They propose new products such as credit cards, new services such as investments and loans. Finally, they got a chance to do a job which they like, speak with the client. Till now, automation is used to automate the processes where human muscles are involved. Those boring, repetitive, heavy, dangerous, such as uh, pick and place, assembling, work in dangerous environment. Jobs are automated in drastically, uh, rapidly growing rates. So automation is, is makes our lives healthier and we can live longer. Not all jobs can be automated, especially those where brain activities are required. But a new trend of automation, which is based on artificial intelligence, maybe solve that. There's a lot talks about smart manufacturing, predictive maintenance, digital twin, digital organization, internet of things, industrial internet of things, virtual, augmented, mixed realities, edge computing. Are you sleeping? <laughs> A lot of you maybe know some things, but a lot of going. The future of automation means more autonomy for the machines. Artificial intelligence has a capability to automate that brain demanding task. Finally, we can create a machines and devices which can check itself. It can analyze much more data than human operator can imbibe. But we humans have to think about artificial intelligence as augmented intelligence, which is not meant to replace our cognitive capabilities, but rather to assist. For example, here are two images of cells taken from the two different tissues. It's one taken from the skin, another from the breast. These two images are taken with the bad cells, cancer cells. In the manner of the seconds, artificial intelligence can label them, those cells and show is it dangerous or not. If you got a chance to visit the biggest particle collider in the Europe, Please visit the main restaurant. You will find there a lot of physician besides the food. And you will feel the brain power in the air. Like this. And know what? They are trying to solve the mystery. From which particles the universe is built. And artificial intelligence now is capable to filter out what is not important. Not important is what is known, and it is leaving only the information which is not known. It makes easier work for the physicians. Here's work for, of my team. We are creating quality inspection systems based on computer vision and artificial intelligence. The system is capable to detect complex defects on complex textural surfaces. The future of automation is going to deeper connectivity and communications. When I say connectivity, I'm talking about connection between everything to everything, 
everything to everyone, everyone to everyone, and maybe everyone to everything. Think about that. <laughs> it's a dynamic connection between devices, machines, systems, and even technologies. Through this communication flows different kinds of data. It can be your photos, it can be information about your credit card, and feature will require expertise of knowledge in cybersecurity and the ways how we can transfer the data much safer, maybe blockchain technology. When automation frees our time, we have to think great new type of products and propose new type of services, such as I hopefully, in the near future, my doctor will be able to order a body part. He will, hey, John, please print me a, a nose for my client, a patient. <laughs> and most important, it will be printed or grown from the own patient cells. If you wanted to merge yourself with the machine to overcome the body limitation, you will call to cyborg designer. He's the best one. The, and not expensive. He will find the eye for you. He will replace the leg for you. You will run faster, read faster, and maybe do something more. In the, in the future, brain implant specialists will use special computer chips which will be implanted in your brain to enhance your memory and most importantly, to control your mood. You will, every time you will be very happy. <laughs> Just click a button. <laughs> no, too much. <laughs> Personal microbioma manager? It's not so funny, but <laughs> um, when scientists with the help of technology understand more about micro microorganisms which live inside us or on us, they find that it had, has a huge benefit for our health. Therefore, the person who will able to harmonize our microbioma, personal microbioma, will be most wanted in the future. There can be a lot of professions. Space tourism, space nurse, space physician, a robot avatar, or we can create a star on the Earth. But most favorite for me, I love it, is a mind transfer specialist. You have to think that is a way how we humans can live forever. We will be able, before the end of the century, to copy the mind of the brain, transfer it to the computer, store it for some time, and then upload to the new brain, or same if you want. Better to have new one, yeah? Automation has ability to give us extra time. And I wanted to show that if we use that extra time for the creativity, we can create something wonderful. Let's use that gift. Thank you very much. <laughs>